Okay. Welcome to another issue of what can go wrong when using the FTB launcher in unusual manners. Covering this because a lot of our um, users have had this issue happening lately. And typing it out just doesn't seem to be exactly explaining what's going on. So, this is about the duplicate mod issue. One of a couple things can occur. One, just because you see a mod suddenly, a, a mod pack suddenly appear on the launcher, does not mean it has actually synced to the server where you download the mod pack from. You need to wait until we put out a post saying, this mod pack is ready for download. At that point, you're free to download the pack. Downloading it prior to that announcement could get you a broken pack, a pack with bugs, a pack where something has just gone wrong in the upload. All these are bad, all of these are beyond our control. The only way for them to be within our control is wait until we make an announcement saying, hey, we've tested this pack. Now, when you're inside the launcher, you should be using recommended when downloading anything. Here's what happens. If you press launch, it's going to go fetch me the mod pack and it's going to launch the mod. It takes a moment. Um, as you can see from this lovely little progress bar, downloading mod pack, please wait. We just sit here and wait a minute. Now we sit and we wait. The launcher closes. This is good. The console starts going, hey, I'm making a mod pack. It puts it together for you. Do 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 do. Yes, I'm aware it takes a while, especially when building the mod pack for the first time, because it has to download all of the files, sync them all up, sort them all, load them into your instance, go through all the textures, go through all the warning symbols, blah 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 blah. But now we have our, our Direwolf 20 pack. It loaded up just fine. Now, if you look in here, you look at the Direwolf folder, there's no duplicate mods in this folder. There's no duplicate mods in here. And if you look at the mod pack that I actually loaded to the thing, which you don't normally get to see, you will see that under here, there are no duplicate mods in this folder. None. That means that our launcher is not downloading duplicated mods in a pack. The pack is fine. However, what can occur, where things can go horribly, horribly wrong, we're going to launch the launcher again. Now, while we're here, and notice I've currently got it on recommended. Well, what if, say, I suddenly decided to swap this to 1.0.0? Wonder what happens when I do that? Notice it's downloading the mod pack again. But wait, we already have a mod pack labeled Direwolf 20. I wonder what happens when we do this. We'll wait and let it load, and you'll see exactly what happens when you do this. And yeah, sorry, it's going to take a while. Nothing I can do about that. Hum a tune to yourself or something while this next part cleans up. Because I'm not really all that good at that whole freeze frame time movie thingy, whatever. We can cover some other things. If your um, Minecraft folder that you are launching from the launcher is currently one where you have to go run. And you use this and you go app data. And you go okay. And you've put it under here, that's the wrong place. Don't put it there. Put it somewhere else. That can work, but frequently we see issues where people have managed to get two or three launchers running inside there, and the launcher gets a bit confused as to where it's supposed to be launching from. You're really much better off putting it on your desktop, putting it on your E drive, your D drive, your C drive, your J drive, if you have as many drives as I have. Anywhere other than sticking it in roaming. Don't do that. Put it somewhere else. Anywhere else, really. 
please. I personally like to keep it in a nice little file here on my desktop labeled FDB. You, of course, can put it on whichever drive you feel suits you best. You certainly don't need to have it on your desktop. This just makes it easy. And it's taking a while. Now I've done that, now the launcher will close, it will run its little thingy, blah, blah, blah. All the stuff in there, lots of stuff. Most of which means absolutely nothing to 99% of people. So oh my god, I have duplicate mods. How did that happen? Well, if we go in here and we look, it's all in here. Why? Because the mod thing doesn't see that you've got duplicate mods because it's looking at the list from two different versions. This is not good. We, we don't want to do that. So, instead, we would have to delete this entire thing. Or, alternatively, we can go in to our mods folder. We can go in here. We can delete the old versions which generally speaking, most of the time, not all the time, are gonna be the lower number. Now we'll go back to the launcher. Now the thing is, if I keep it on the side that has um, on this 1.0.0, all it's going to do is re-download again the packs, the, the mods that are wrong. If I put it back on recommended, however, and I press launch, it suddenly tells me there's a new back there's a new mod pack version available. I can go ahead and go yes. And now it's downloading again. Why? Because it saw that we were using the mods from 1.1 instead of the mods from 1.0.3. So this is going to cause duplication again. Since I don't really feel like sitting here for another 10 minutes, you're just going to have to trust me on this one. And I'm just going to force um, the launcher to shut down. Force launcher shut down already. Yep, okay, there we go. Yeah, whatever. I know it's not working because I forced it to shut down. We more likely can already see some of the duplication occurring. Um, or maybe not, because I may have closed it too soon for that. So you'll just have to trust me on that one. That this can, in fact, cause a duplication error. You don't want to do that either. Instead, what you need to do is you go in here to FTB. You delete the direwolf. If you have a save... This is the one exception. You will want to copy this file and any saves you have somewhere safe for use later. Otherwise, press delete, delete that file, and you're going to need to re-download the correct version. Leave it on recommended. Leaving it on recommended has the least chance of causing duplication errors. On the rare occasion you do end up with a duplication error, it will almost always be in this folder here. Just delete the old ones. Or delete this folder completely and let it re-download. Because it will only re-download the ones that are supposed to be there. So if we leave it on recommended, 
don't go playing with the version numbers. The other way around this would be currently my magic farm set up here is on version 1.0.2. If for some reason I wanted to go back to 1.0.1, .1, I would rename this. We'll call this A. Then we could download the old version and it creates a new pack which will be the one that launches from there. And why does Magic Farm launch faster than Dire Wolf 20? Mainly because there's less mods in Magic Farm, so it just launches faster. Not a fault of Dire Wolf 20, it's just Dire Wolf 20 has quite a few more mods than Magic Farm. And you see it's loaded up Magic Farm. Now, of course, because of this, we can't actually access this pack while in here. Eh. Not overly worried about it. But so that's the things that can occur that can cause duplication. Taking this off recommended, moving the number around, going from recommended to an older version, going from an older version to a newer version can occasionally wind up with duplicates inside this 1.6.4 folder, downloading the mod pack before it is completely synced, which means before FTB has had a chance to put it up and say, hey, go ahead and download this pack. Because things can go wrong when you're uploading things to a server and if you only manage to download half a pack, well, then the launcher's confused, everybody's confused, and you have an issue. Also, for safety's sake, and just to ensure that you don't end up with duplicate launcher instances running, put your FTB launcher in a separate folder from your main Minecraft. It will be fine. I think that covers everything. Duplication, duplication, everything. But the mod packs are not being uploaded with duplicated files. When this occurs, it is, so far as we can tell, always a matter of Minecraft is running in the background and the launcher can't delete files while Minecraft is running. You have an extra instance of the FTB launcher that's also causing issues. The mod pack was downloaded prior to it actually fully syncing with the server. You're going from the one version to an older version without realizing it. And none of these, are, you know, all of these are things that we will try to eventually find some way of making the launcher handle. But as of right now, that's where your issues are. Keep the FTB launcher on recommended and leave it there all the time on every pack and we have yet to see this problem. We can't duplicate it this way. You might be able to, in which case, I'm sorry, but we really have no idea what's going on for your computer. We really don't. Because these, these mod packs are not shipping with duplicate mods. It's not what's occurring. In absolute worst case scenario, delete the FTB launcher and reinstall. Yeah, that should be everything.